Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the skies. Welcome back to another episode of Hermit Sky. Today, last episode, we had one plan, one goal, and that was to get this thing to work so that we could get some sort of, uh, so that we could get concrete, right? Yeah. And it's been a while since that episode, and I do apologize for that. The reason is because I've got the man flu. If you're not following me on Twitter, probably you should. Or if you're not watching Hermitcraft, probably you should, because I have been, I've been saying it in those episodes. Uh, but yeah, we kind of failed in getting concrete, and since then, I have found that there's also the original concrete block that's now renamed to brownstone. Now, this is created with sandstone and clay, so this is a lot easier to get to. And uh, we're going to try and use this instead to begin this uh, to begin with, because I really have, I have a build in mind, and I really want to get it done. Like, I really, I really want to get it up. Uh, also, I found this sword, the Ender. It's really good. It has travel built in in it, so I can shift right click like that and Ender pull my way through. I think that's power based one. I think we're just about to run out. Anyway. Someone in the comments said, tell Iskal to triple compress or even more compress the cobblestone before breaking it down. So usually we have compressed it and then I break it down with my stone hammer and this gives me compressed gravel and then this gives me compressed sand. And this is of course important because the recipe of this is sandstone. So we need a lot of sandstone to produce this. So yeah, I, I went down and I triple compressed cobblestone. I want to see if this works. Um... Let's do, how many do I have? Only three? That's like, <laughs> that's like 2,500 cobblestone right there. Um, I made a diamond hammer, but let's try first with the stone. Oh, that doesn't seem to work, does it? Nope. Oh, it doesn't seem to work. Oh, it doesn't seem to work. No, I thought this was such a good plan. Okay, so we cannot hammer down anything but normal compressed. And it's all compressed sand, even though it feels... It feels a little bit less than than when it was stone. So then the next step would be to take this and turn it into sandstone. And I'm kind of considering how long... Oh, that's what the book does in modded. Okay. Kind of considering how long this process takes because we're going to need a lot of the brownstone, basically. But I think so far... I mean, this is pretty, this is pretty fine. And from all of that sand, all of that compressed stone... We got 10 stacks and 23, and then it's 4 stacks and a clay ball, which I have in here, 4 stacks and a clay ball per brownstone, or, or do I get 4 brownstones for that? Let's, uh, let's see, so that, 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 and that, that gives me 4 brownstone, okay. So that's not too bad, I guess it's 1 brownstone per sandstone. Basically, this is how this blocks look anyway uh, block looks anyway, and it's really nice I've those of you who've been here for a long time. You know that this is one of my favorite blocks There's also the bottom half which is a really good looking to have at the bottom and then there's the fully weathered one Which I mean there are a few as you can see but this goes at the very bottom so you can basically you can basically put these on top of each other to create sort of a sort of a cool effect which is probably what we're going to do with these blocks. So, in terms of automating this, let's create a temporary machine right over here where we put dust in one box. So, we're going to need some boxes, actually. Uh, let's get some basic drawers. So, we put dust in here. That's going to be sucked in and waterified into clay. And then we need to break that clay into clay balls. I think this is where we can actually use the analog crafters. Um, <clears throat> did I make more of those? Analog, yes, I did. Okay. So maybe I can output this directly into here. And just to give this a test, let's grab these, turn them into dust. Nice. And we can then put them in here. That should all go through and they should go in here. And that should automatically, as you can see, yeah, automatically turns into clay. Very nice. So from there... We then want to send the clay balls over to another crafter. So we'll place that. I don't think we need this. This was the bucket system. So we can take this down. And this thing is refilling that. Okay. Yeah, so we will have another system here, which takes the clay balls. So now is where we need to go a little bit technical here. Did I make... I did make item ducts, did I not? I did. Okay, item ducts. And then I need the servo wherever I put that. And I should say as well that you guys were commenting that this thing needs its own power, it's solar power required. And it just seemed, oh, here it is, there, there's my servo. It just seemed like a little bit of a, 
<coughs> a too too far jump ahead just to get some building blocks because that's that's essentially what we're doing here so to make this i need the very valuable redstone i need this and i need some glass glass is not really a problem as you can see we have a lot of it uh but that should give me two servos no just one okay and there we go i don't know why the hopper keeps going in there there we go so now we can connect this part up here set this to ignored so that that goes in here we should see oh do i have to output from the bottom accessible from all sides um no i think it went yes okay very cool so we want this thing to be let's check this direction west so we want this thing to be west and then let's disable all of the others for now <laughs> i feel like i'm playing playing a little mini game here and then i'm gonna need some more uh, can I? Nope. I need some more sand or dust rather. Let's put a stack in there and we want the clay ball to always go in the center. Uh, then we need to supply it with sandstone. I guess we could just do that manually. So if we... Oh, but we need it to go in all four slots. We want it to be sticky as well. Um, ah, spread items. Yeah, that could possibly be a thing. So from this direction, which is south, we're going to do... I've never done this before, but I'm assuming this is how it works. South only. South only. South only. And hopefully we can input everything from one side. Uh, and it will spread it out. It will be smart. So if I do that and put this in here. Ah, spread items, it says. It freaking says spread items. Distribute the items evenly among existing stacks. Yeah, that, that crafts it though. Oh, okay, I see. I see, so it requires us to have one in each, which we will do because it's sticky. Nice! I think that is actually... Yeah, that is actually going to work. <laughs> I think that's probably going to work. Um, the only problem is... Oh no, it crashed. Okay, back in Protitoso now. This pack, ladies and gentlemen, takes about five minutes for my computer to load. So it's really frustrating every time uh, it crashes. And I remembered it as I did it. If you shift click anything into anything from extra utilities, the game crashes. It's really weird. But anyway, uh, this thing is, is fully functioning. So if we put sandstone in there, which is what we were going to do, we put this stuff into here. That should be filling that machine up. We can put some more in. I love these drawers, by the way. Um, now, yeah, that's filling up with sandstone. And then we just need an ex exit for this thing. And I thought I'd use another item duct just so I don't have to go down another level. Wait, so if I say that any of these is east only, is it going to connect then? East only? Oh, okay. So maybe we can trick it and get the blocks out of there. And then we need one more basic drawer. So let's put one more of these downs here. And we got to disconnect that. So I think... Did I not make myself a wrench? I don't have a wrench. Uh, do I have tin and iron? I have iron and I have tin. Okay, we can make ourselves a crescent hammer. If I can remember how it is. Is it like that? Yes. Crescent hammer. Disconnect you and put a drawer on top. And if I install a servo here, I should get the brownstone out there. In theory. Come on. Come on, game. Do the thing. <laughs> yes. Yes, we're getting the brownstone out there. Okay, that is really good news. Really, really good news. Now I'm excited. Um, so this means we have our building block uh, and we have it automatically. We need to provide it with dust and sandstone, which is not the end of the world. We can totally do that. Uh, but I want to get to building a little bit today because, like I said last time, I really, really don't like this thing. In fact, let's just, <laughs> let's just vein mine everything away. Even take away the glass, take away this. Um... And I think what I want to do is obviously go back to my roots, as I said last time. And by that, I mean that I want to go back and build with these blocks and build sort of a factory-ish looking thing. Uh, and you can see here I marked out some corners. If we turn on the chunk borders, you'll see that I marked out the chunk borders of this one chunk here. Our very first build is going to be an Iskal Tower. Tower 85. Yeah, Tower 85 we can call it. And I think what I want to do is I want to go in two blocks. I want to have two blocks on either side. Put down my first corner of the tower there. And then we can use this brown brownstone. 
<laughs> brown, weathered brownstone. I think I'll go maybe two or three layers with this stuff. And the good thing with modded Minecraft, for those of you who are new, is that you can you can build a lot a lot quicker using these builders wands. So the diamond wand here. Uh, this does require me, however, to take down quite a bit of infrastructure. I guess uh, we just kind of put the storage system up, but <laughs> I guess we'll have to just destroy it and yeah, rebuild it later. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna store glass in one of these drawers. That will allow me to get some more space here. Uh, and smooth stone, I think, should be able to fit in here now. Do I have... Oh, I have that in there. Okay, and these are just ingots. So that would be fine. Uh, and then I'm basically just gonna take all of this down. We can put it up again in a little bit. By the way, I made myself this emerald pickaxe, as you can see. Uh, actually, additions adds these emerald tools. And since we had some emeralds, I thought it was a good use of them. So maybe, while we're at it, let's also make an emerald axe. Nice. Yeah, but let's take all of this stuff down and we can put this up later again. It doesn't really matter. I just need a... Uh, I, just need, I just need a solid, solid surrounding. So here's my next corner that I marked. So that means that the turning point is right there, right? Oh no, I only have one away from the corner. Oh yeah, we can build on the corner block as well, so... Turning point is right there. You also run quicker on this, which we could use for something possibly in the future. Personally, I think it's a little bit annoying because I like the block so much. It's not nice that it changes <laughs> the property of the player, but um, we're going to use it for the wall. So it shouldn't affect us that much. But let's take this down and yeah, just going to make sure I'm doing this correctly. <laughs> I don't want to end up with the wrong sized build here. So that should be correct. And then what you can do with a builder's wand is this. Jump and look down. You can see it's going to fill in all of these blocks. Except for these ones because there are item frames there. Okay. Now here's the reason I use these though. It's because we could break and move them. I knew that we were that we were, <laughs> we were going to have to move them uh, sooner or later. So we can easily just pick them up and move them. Very nice. Okay, so now let's try this again with a wand. You can get the full thing. Yep. So I think I want this tower to be rather tall. And I think we'll go four blocks with this. And then we'll change to... Oh, I ran out actually. Then we'll change to this block here. Uh, and then I'll go like maybe ten blocks or so with the regular concrete or brownstone. And that should be... Yeah, that should look pretty cool in the end. It took a lot of concrete, guys. <laughs> like, or a brownstone. It took a lot of brownstone. And I just realized why it's called brownstone. It's because vanilla... <laughs> vanilla has got concrete now. <laughs> Last time I played around with this stuff was in Minecraft 1.7. And it was used to be called concrete. Oh, I didn't finish this pillar here. And I don't think I did the backs yet. But yeah, that's a really cool starting tower. And I think... I want to continue it upwards as I go here, but the point with this is I want this to be our sort of workshop thing, but I want to spread out all our farms and all of our stuff around the map here and not just put everything like close together. That's that's my whole goal. The issue with that is early game like we are in now, we don't have production of a lot of things, so a lot of things is going to be hard to do that with, but I think we'll... Uh, do kind of similar to what we did in stone block where we're going to be making sure that we have some space to work with and then turning it into a permanent place as we kind of go along here that's at least the plan now i want to have a floor here and the absolute best block would be this i think or from the ones i've seen this is a gorgeous looking block asphalt uh, the problem is as you saw there <laughs> you fly so quickly on it and i don't like that it's like it would be cool for like a nether tunnel instead of ice, but it's a little bit too quick to have here. So I think we could potentially paint using a painter, painting machine, this thing here, which we which we can't make yet, of course. But we could potentially paint cobblestone to look like this. Uh, I don't know, and I would like to know down in the comments below if that creates lag. Because in the past, when you painted a cobblestone block, it turned into a... Uh, Tile entity, I think it was, and when you had a lot of those, your lag, your world started lagging. Which we gotta try and prevent uh, lag. This pack is already super heavy on mods and that kind of stuff, so yeah, that's very important. Uh, anyway, the, the we, we'll we'll see what we do with the with the outer space here. I think 
for now we may just want to do like a stone it's very up and down and obviously i need to set this up again but maybe we'll just put a stone floor down uh, and not worry too much about this right now at this moment uh, as long as it doesn't go up and down the reason i have a cobblestone foundation underneath here is of course if i need to dig down or do any any kind of stuff like underneath here um it's gonna be easier to not fall off the world uh but yeah all in all i think that's really cool now one thing is the ability to go up and down in this thing and so far we have a very actually you know what i should have i thought I should have thought this through a little bit because i want an entrance here i guess i guess for now we'll have our entrance to the place right over here we should be yeah that's another thing by the way because i did it uh, even everything is gonna be even which is a little bit weird uh, Oh for goodness sake. I actually fell off. I fell out of the world. Oh No, oh and I'm in lava what the heck So do I get randomly placed somewhere? I seem to have some fire resistance of some sort. Can I make this? What is going on with me? What? Do I like randomly just... I am so freaking confused. What just happened to me? I've fallen through the world before and ended up in a different place. Where's my portal? I'm over here. Are you... F are you for real? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I don't think I'll ever make that. Yeah, it's 770 blocks to go. Because I'm also on the minus and I gotta get to the positive. Oh, this is how far I've got so far. My goodness, this was a setback. I wonder if my pickaxe is even going to survive this dig. <laughs> this 650 left. What? Yeah, this uh, this feels like a, a very, very long dig. Can I do anything with these? Fire starter. I can make pickaxes with them. And then I need to find soul sandstone. Oh, which is soul sand. Oh, okay. Let's try this. Spawn. Oh, I think we're teleporting. I think we're, that's not cheating because that would be built in commands. I'm not in creative. I'm here. I'm back. I can type, I can type slash spawn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Thank goodness for that. Whew. I don't even know what we we're talking about. We we're talking about the entrance here. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit weird because it's a. Uh, it's an even build. And the reason I made it even, guys, that's what I was going to say before, is because, as you can see, I've selected to build it in one chunk here. And with having things chunked based, I think that's how I want to do it. I want to build things on the chunk grid. It's going to be a lot easier to manage lag in this world. And I'm doing this because I'm planning on, slowly but surely, at least trying to complete as much as possible of this pack, like I did with Stone Block. And I want to... Um, make sure that the world survives. I know that Project Dawson, I've played the Project Dawson too many times, and I know that this is a very, very laggy pack <laughs> in general. So things can go uh, very bad very quickly. Uh, now, we are, my, my plan is we'll put some production stuff down here, but the main sort of room of interest would be up here, where um, I think I want to have didn't bring any building blocks. I think I want to have the floor level right here so that we can look out from uh, use these windows as well. Um, and to get up and down, we have this very fancy ladder at the moment. I think I want to try and install an elevator. And to make an elevator, I need eight here, eight blocks of wool and an ender pearl. Now I've been looking through my resources and I have here. Wait, I gotta, I gotta do one more thing. Boop. I've got one um, ender pearl at the moment. So, we gotta try and get another one. Okay, so we can make one elevator, but obviously we need two to go up and down. But let's make our very first boop, 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 elevator. And I hope, I hope we can cover this distance, but I'm not sure about that one. Uh, but I guess what I'll have to do in order to get an enderman, because... <laughs> Because so many things are spawning in the end, um, like so many special mobs, or sorry, in the, uh, not in the end, in the nether, 
I don't think we can go to the nether to get endermen very easily. So our best chance is to use our mob grinder here. And I don't even know if I've got a single enderman to spawn here. But like I said, I think we can get these things from loot bags. So, and loot bags I definitely get from these guys occasionally. Okay, I got two loot bags here. Paper. Oh, that's actually really good. That is really, really good. Okay, let's do this. We actually got a <laughs> sapling there as well fitting. So with this, we can actually make a paper bark sapling. Nice. We got to put this system up soon again because this is just currently... Yeah, not doing anything uh, at all. Where did I put all my tools and stuff? Where did I put my axe? In here? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to trying to keep organized with the new stuff versus the old stuff. Uh, because I do need to redo my entire storage system. But with this thing, if you did watch Stoneblock, you know what, what happens next. But let's grab a chest somewhere. Just put this up here for now. Boop and boop and boop. This tree will provide us with paper and I think also wood. And it looks absolutely weird. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't provide us with wood, actually, now that I think of it. Let's see what happens when it grows up. And... Oh, no, we do get we do get wood as well. Okay, cool. But we can also get paper from it. I think I could just do this. That way we'll get a little bit, little bit of wood and stuff there. So that's a, that's a pretty good drop. Come on. Oh. Yes! Yes, I can't believe it! There's another guy there as well! <laughs> oh my goodness! Chicken? Diablo chicken? You guys have no idea! I got another one? Whoo! I have been trying to get an enderman to spawn in here for so long just to get this stupid elevator <laughs> that I needed for the tower and this is actually two days later since i recorded that last uh, clip of this video because i got an insane fever when i was playing and i had to lay down and just rest myself up i did this before i ended the before i had to shut down for the day i wanted to have 85 on the end on the edge of the on the edge of this tower but it looks absolutely horrible <laughs> what was i thinking I wonder if I can make that bigger. Do I have enough space? You know what, guys? This looks pretty cool, I think. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet, but let's see. Is this something we can go with? Let's pick up all of these brownstone. They are very valuable to me. <laughs> Should I just leave it like that and not do the five? That's kind of cool. <laughs> the derp tower. <laughs> the derp tower. Anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I was actually uh, I was actually hoping to post this video a lot sooner to you guys, but I got struck with a fever of doom. Uh, when I basically, if you wanted during this video, when I got to the Nether, I started sneezing like crazy. Obviously, I cut it out from the video, right? But I started sneezing like crazy, and then I got a headache, and then I had to take a five minute break, and then I came back, and then I just started feeling feverish. You guys know what it's like to have a big cold or like a flu. It's a lot better now, three days later since that last clip, I think this is. Uh, and as you can hear, my voice is probably a little bit better uh, at this point in time. I'm still not 100%, but I'm definitely better. So, yeah, I am sorry for, for this, uh, for the delay in these episodes. I'm hoping to be able to, to do better in the future. Can I? Yes, that does reach. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, it may be... Maybe so that we can't have a lot of blocks underneath, because that's another thing. Uh, you can actually transport yourself through blocks using these elevators. They're a little bit cheesy, uh, but I do like them. They are very, they're like very lightweight modded, but still very modded. You would never see anything like this in vanilla, right? I wonder if I can even move it one down. Oh, perfect. Okay. Okay, so now we have a way up and down to this place. We got to figure out some kind of floor up here. Uh, di di no, I got one too little. <laughs> too, too, too little. Okay, just gonna do that for now. I don't even care, okay? We <laughs> just, just so that we get this room up, up in here. Yes. And any spawning spots? One over here. F7 is a great tool, by the way. This is good. This is really, really good. This is uh, very high up, and it's a great sort of workstation starter base of doom 
Uh, and it goes with the theme that I want to build. Now, obviously, this stuff here that we made with the concrete or brownstone maker is going to have to be improved quite a bit. As you can see, like, I'm, I'm out of this stuff again. And I made a lot of it off camera, uh, but we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to do that when we have some more infrastructure. I wanted to get one of these buildings up, and the plan would be then to build a giant flat world up here in the skies and add a lot of different factorish style builds on it. That's that's sort of how I'm picturing this. I kind of like the 85 being wonky like that. But anyway, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you dudes in the next episode.